All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. I'm finally back. I know it took me a while, but uh, I had to get this book. I had, to, I had to finish this book. It took me a while, but I got it done. I got notes on the first part of the, uh, the concept I'm going to talk about, the first chapter, if you want to call it. So I'm just going to cover all these sticky notes. So this is gonna this series is going to take me a while <clears throat> because outside of Gonzalo Guerrero, there's more to it that I want to share with you guys. There's a whole different perspective and a culture that I, I didn't know, and I'm going to share with you. So with that being said, let's get started. So all I'm going to do is like in my previous books, I'm going to summarize my notes one section at a time. I don't want to overwhelm you guys, okay? So let's get started. So this is part one of Gonzalo Guerrero, okay? We're going to go to my first note, and I'm just going to go off the notes and go from there. So Gonzalo Guerrero landed in the land after his ship sank. So yes, I guess on his journey, on his journey, he doesn't really explain where he was headed. You know, the water, the, 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 strong, the strong current of the water destroyed his ship. And through all that, you know, he finally, you know, uh, he landed in, in, in what he called land. You know, he, he, he was, um, he landed in land. You know, uh, upon landing in the land, he heard a lot of movement. So he got up and saw a group of men standing there looking at him. So he saw the indigenous tribes over of where he had landed. So one thing I want to make clear is that this book doesn't go from like start to finish. There's going to be in other sections where it talks about previous to landing to the land. Just want to make that clear. So once we go through that, I will cover that. So pretty much he landed. He heard noises. He was uh, face down on the sand. He heard the noises. He gets up and he sees, he sees a group of men, a tribal men. Uh, Gonzalo would uh, signal with his hands that he wasn't uh, trying to escape or leave, but would, uh, was just trying to wash up. So, yeah, so when he seen these men, he started making signs with his hands that, hey, I need to wash up. So he started walking backwards towards the ocean until it, it went, uh, I believe, waist deep. He got water. He started washing his face. And when he opened his eyes, he noticed that the rest of the tribal men were doing the same. They were mimicking him. As he proceeded, he washed his face. And when he opened his eyes, he noticed the men doing everything he was doing. After this, the men signaled Gonzalo to follow them. So yes, he, they signaled him, hey, come with us. So remember, Gonzalo is a very part of our history because Gonzalo was what we would, I would uh, consider a good Hispanic, a real Hispanic, not us. A true Hispanic that fought for our people, for our ancestors. Gonzalo Pong, uh, starting his walk deep into the lands or the jungle, saw something from afar, and he uh, depicted a man. Gonzalo found one of his men by the name of Aguilar, or also uh, Jeronimo Aguilar. So yes, I guess when they started the journey into the jungle or deep into the land, as they called it, he seen a figure from far away, and as 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 he as he called on to the natives or the indigenous people, hey, come this way, he noticed that it was his, his, his one of his men, Jeronimo Aguilar. Uh, Aguilar Jeronimo did not trust the men as Gonzalo did. So yes, upon uh, uh, reaching and making contact with Jeronimo, Jeronimo, you know, was glad to see Gonzalo, but but then he seen that the rest of the men and he didn't trust them. But Gonzalo affirmed that, hey, they're good. Don't worry about it. They're here to help us. Jeronimo asked where they were. They were, And one of the men said, Yucatan. So one of these men were, were the, the men, the, 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 the tribal men, the indigenous people. But Yucatan in Nahua means I don't understand. So when when they, when Gonzalo, uh, uh, when Jeronimo asked the, 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 the indigenous people, hey, where, where are we? They answered back with Yucatan, which in Nahua means, I don't understand. Uh, Gonzalo and Jeronimo accepted Yucatan as the name of the place. So Yucatan, be, to them, was like, oh, the name of this place is Yucatan. That's what this place is called. But in reality, what that meant is, I don't understand you. Um, Aguilar and Gonzalo thought to look for the rest of the men, but found nothing. So yes, upon you know getting together, asking them the question, hey, where are we? They also they said, "Hey, help us look for the rest of our men." So they went out. The indigenous, the, the 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 indigenous people helped them look. They couldn't find anything. So Gonzalo and Jeronimo were taken deep into the land or the jungle by the name 
of Mani. So that was the name of the place where they were at, Mani. They were fed while they also tried to find a way to communicate. So yes, they were taken into the jungle. Apparently when they walked into the tribe, everybody stopped. Everybody looked at them because they were they were not dressed like them. Obviously, they were very different. Um, so they were fed and, and, and while they were eating, they were trying to figure out a way to communicate. That's what they were doing. And that's part one of the Gonzalo Guerrero story. So next up is part two, which starts right here. And we're going to leave off there. Um, and yeah, guys, so just bear with me. I know uh, I, I took a little break, but I did it because I needed to finish this book. I really had to get to it. It's a lot of content. It's not easy. A lot of people might think that making YouTube videos is easier. It really isn't because a lot of the stuff I talk about, I have to back it up. And this is the book for all you who are interested. Before you guys decide to purchase it or not, this book is it's in a way of a novella, a novel. But... As you can see, these parts are all history. Strictly from the history. Everything else is like a novel mixed with history. And that's what I like. But I, I strictly dissected all the history and I'm going to give it to you guys. So, yes, with that being said, stay tuned for part two. We're going to continue this Gonzalo Guerrero series so that you guys can understand some really cool stuff that I came across in this great book. Highly recommend it. But for those of you who don't like to read, I understand, who don't have the time, don't have the patience... Just stay tuned with this channel. I'm going to educate you guys. And, um, you know, like always, if you guys are part of this channel, you guys are part of the, the cause, you guys are part of the, the movement, which is to wake up our people. La Raza, or Mexicanos, Chicanos, Anahuacas, Nicantlaca, whatever you want to label yourself, we are all the same. This channel is to wake up our gente. That is the cause, and that is the movement. To reawaken el Quetzalcoatl is to reawaken one another to the hidden knowledge, to the lost knowledge of our ancestors. Okay, that's what Quetzalcoatl is. And I'll get to that. I read somewhere where this indigenous man claims that Quetzalcoatl is not necessarily something that's going to come back. But it's the awakening of our people that is going to come back. The awakening of our indigenous bloodline that runs through us. That's going to wake up and we're going to embrace our indigenous lineage. And that's what this channel is about. To wake up that indigenous lineage so that we can stop being so damn confused oh i'm hispanic i'm latino no if you want to label yourself mexicano chicano chicana anahuaca nicantlaca that's it mestizo that's fine as long as you embrace your indigenous this channel is about embracing indigenous and indigenous only we do not promote the spaniard unless they're spaniards like gonzalo guerrero and i will prove to you why with that being said guys take care and god bless